everybody, Kathy here. Welcome to my craft channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do this really cute solar outdoor light that you can hang by your driveway, along your fence, by your pool, on your deck, or by your front door, anywhere you want to put it. You can even leave them in the house. Um, I'm going to show you how to do it. You just need a few items, anything needed, all from the Dollar Tree and some things you might even have around your house. This is a vase here with lines going horizontally and it's got a nice contrast and touch to it. Again, from the Dollar Tree and I'll show you, this is the finished project, how it's gonna look, of course, unlit because it's not in the dark yet. I don't know if this is doing much for it, but I'm gonna have other pictures put up in the video by the time it's completed. By the end of this video, you'll see how it looks hanging up outside in daylight, and then again, once nightfall hits later tonight, I will photograph. You're going to need, as I said, one of these vases that have the lines going this way, and has a seam on that side. You can see a seam, and then on that side. There's a reason I'm telling you about this. So if you see this, try to pick this one up. Um, you can use any glass vase, but the thinner ones are fragile and they'll crack very easily. This is good and thick. Anything that's got a thick texture, you can even save a big old mayonnaise jar that's, as long as it's thick and it's sturdy, you could use that. And I encourage that because you're recycling. In fact, that's gonna be another one of my videos. So you're gonna need this, one of these vases. A solar light, any of these solar lights that you see at the Dollar Tree will work, or they're fine. I've even seen the red, white, and blue stars and stripes uh, spangled banner ones. That's fine too, however you want it to look. It's all whatever you like. So you're going to need this, but we're going to pull this apart. But not yet. I won't, I'll tell you in a few minutes. Then you're going to need a display easel. What they use for displaying like a decorative plate. I picked this because it's got the lip. I'm trying to keep things as simple and quick as possible with some of these crafts. So the average person can do it. This is why I picked this. I didn't want to get anything with screws or nails because I myself am not allowed, by my, according to my husband, to go sinking nails into the wall because all sorts of crazy things start happening to the foundation, supposedly when I put nails in the wall. So I try to do projects that don't require me using his tools and those things. But anyway, um, this I thought was the easiest to grab, and it worked. I put this over my fence. Of course, you're going to take this paper off. I put this over the top of where it's like that, the top of the... Uh, I don't know what you call it, but I've got the stockade fencing, and um, this sits right over it. And this lip here is what you're going to hang. You're going to hang the rope on. And it just, it's so cool how easy this worked. I mean, for three bucks, this hanging lantern, who would ever think um, you could make things like this? All right, so you're going to need this, the glass lantern, this, and your um, solar light cheap any old cheap solar light and you're gonna need rope you might have this in your house I was trying to get the brown um, twine type it's very nautical looking but they didn't have it there and I didn't feel like going to 50 other stores so I went with this because to me it went nicely with this and I've got black shutters on my house so it kind of all ties in with my house so it's all in how you want to do it you don't have to do it exactly how I'm doing it you know, everybody's got their own taste, their own style, and whatever it is that they have access to. Not everybody can get up and run to the store and get things. You can make something just like this with stuff around your house. Like I just said, you could take a mayonnaise jar, obviously, if you clean it out, and you can um, make the uh, hanger to go around it. All you need is this, the uh, solar lights, and now you get them for a buck a piece. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start by taking a piece of this rope, however long we want the lantern to hang, and then it cut a little extra off because it does tend to fray when we're doing it. Okay, so you're going to eyeball it. There's no certain measurement, so you do it how you see it and you want it, where you want it to uh, end and begin. All right, so here's the seam. This is what I was talking about before. You got the seam here. You're going to put one end there. 
and the other end there. And this way you know it's matched up perfectly and you don't have it all crooked like, uh, you know, not where it should be, you know? So um, what you're going to do is first take the end of the rope and you're going to tie a knot and leave a little bit of a fray at the end, not too much. And before you pull where how to, where you want it to be, you just play with it and see pretty much if you want it there, do you want it lower, do you want it higher, and then you tighten it. And I'm trying to keep these almost the same amount of uh, roping hanging. Okay, that should be all right. All right, now what we're going to do, we're going to take this, that little solar light, you're going to pull it apart. This little piece, you're going to put this aside for later. You're going to take this, pull that paper off, and you're going to use this for pushing this glue. You can even use this to lean on as you're working. This stand that you're going to use later to hang this on, it works well to, you know, uh, lean this on as you're working. See, everything's got a purpose. Alrighty, now, um, this from the piece of uh, the solar light, this is going to function for us right now before we throw it in the garbage. Or you can save it for future projects. I mean, this thing comes out, you can use it to poke little, um, you want to get something into a seam nicely and you need like that edging. So this could be a handy little tool. Alright, we're getting very resourceful here. <laughs> okay, um... I'm going to take this piece of rope. I hope you can see it from that angle okay. I'm trying to make it where you can, you know, see exactly what I'm doing here. All right, now I'm trying to do this in a way where it's going to lay the way I put it. I'm going to put the glue here right along the seam where I'm going to put the rope. I'm going to put it there. I'm going to try not to get this on my fingers because, boy, when you get it on your fingers, does that hurt? I'm pushing it against the glass to adhere it. The more I push it against it, not too much in the beginning, because then you're going to make the glue spread. But you just and let the glue spread. It's okay, because we're going to cover that with more rope. You hear any noise in the background? That's my husband with the water pressure thing trying to get paint off the deck so he can repaint it. Vicious cycle over here. Okay, see now this is the more you press it, it stays again really well. It dries against that a really good, good, it's good and tight against the glass. And you want that with the very first layer. That's the very first layer of rope that's important. And I say first layer because you're gonna have more rope going around it. And then you got the other side. I'm starting to think I should have put more rope on that. Made it longer. Hmm. Okay. This is where the no editing thing comes in with me. Now, I ran into a problem. I'm not happy. I should have made that longer. What I'm going to do is rip it apart. Because when we're doing crafts, we can do that. I'm going to make it a little longer this time. And if I have to cut it, not a big deal. At least I have plenty to work with. That wasn't long enough for me. All right, we're gonna fix this. This I could peel off because it has not completely dried yet. All righty, now we're gonna start all over again. I'm gonna put a knot in this. <laughs> I'm not even on the camera, I'm sorry. I'm gonna put another knot in this. Double knot it, give it that real like nautical look. Now I hope this time I took enough a rope and if I didn't I'm gonna do it again I will start again and again until it's done right and it looks like I might be doing that tonight <laughs> I just tied this again in a spot that it was too uh, it didn't land right that's the thing when you're doing anything with hot glue and or you can always cut and restart all over again. There we go. Now, I don't know. Is this going to be long enough? Because I keep not making it long enough, it seems. 
I want it to have enough of a handle to it. How's that look? The other one had a longer handle. I'm not happy with that. One more time. Not you believe that? Okay. I'm not editing. You see what kind of problems you can run into. So nobody has to sit here with questions and answers. You already see what happens if something doesn't go right. Here, I'm doing this a third time, guys. Third time. <laughs> Alrighty. Hopefully this will be better. This might be too long, but that's okay because I can always cut it down. You can always cut that down. You know what it is? You have to give allowance for the amount of roping that you're leaving at the end and the fact that you're doing, you're making a knot. The knots take up rope. They take up room. So that's something to, you know, you got to make an allowance for. See, now look at all that extra room I've just taken up by putting a knot. I put it up here. You know, that's about a good three inches on each side. So, all right. See, now I'm happy. I wanted it longer. I like a longer handle because I like it to really, you know, droop down. Okay, that's better now. Now we're going to go back to those seams I was talking about. And it's okay if this is a little messy because we're putting rope over this. A lot of rope. And here we go again. You're going to say, geez, I watched this woman and she takes, takes forever to watch her videos because she just doesn't edit anything. And all the, <laughs> at least you see the problems I run into and that you will too. Nobody's perfect and I'm far from it. But the thing is, um, finished prod product, it comes out the way it's supposed to, and that's the important thing. Okay, that's sticking nicely. Letting it dry. That's a little long there with me. There we go. Do the other side. Now here's the other seam on the other side. We're gonna put this right on the seam. Now let me see some. This might be, yeah, I like it that long. Here we go. I'm gonna make sure I'm gluing it where it's going to, there I go, knock it into the camera like a big dope. Um, you want it to be level, like the same amount on each side. And it pretty much will be because I'm going on the seam. We're we're putting this on the seam again. I just want to make sure it's not... Okay, I want to put the knot where it should be. Right, we're going to glue it. Plenty of glue. Where's that knot? On the other side. It's right about there. There we go. I'm going to put that there. I hope you can see that okay. That's the whole idea. You're supposed to be able to see what I'm doing here. And as this dries, I don't want to do too soon in the beginning, because then it makes the glue go too, spread too much. Right now that it's, um, I could roll it up like this, with the side of this uh, thing from the uh, solar light. Press it this way, it's good and flat against the glass. You have to go crazy pressing it because we're going to wrap some rope around that. See, I got a nice long handle. Now, looking at it, you can see where this side's hanging down longer than that one. And that's easy to fix. You just take the scissors. It's always better when you have too much left over because you can always work out with uh, work with that. They Now I evened it. They're both the same length. Now, we're going to take this and we're going to hot glue rope going around the outside of it because it's going to end up looking like this. See, there's a shorter handle on this one. But I'm making them where when you're looking at them and they're hanging, one's hanging low, one's hanging higher. So this has a shorter handle, this one has a long handle. There's, a, there's always a method to my madness here. Okay, now we're going to hot glue. There's three rows of the black rope going around the top here. And I didn't want to go too high up. The reason being the light. If you're too high up, you're not going to see any of this light when it's lit because you have all the black roping covering it. 
So I only put it starting from the center and then down to where the base of this meets the top, the lip of it. So you're going to go center down to the top of this base. On this, I'll show you what I mean. You're going to start hot gluing it from like the center here, right in the middle, right down to where the base meets the lip. Here, down. I'm just going to put three rows of uh, black rope. And we're going to start on the side where the seam is. Always start our work where the seam is. Um, is to keep everything on one side. All right, we'll start up here. Okay, let that dry a little bit. Hold it in place. And my husband's still out there power washing that deck. That's that noise you hear in the background. Boy, houses are constant upkeep. Come home from work, just what you want to do, more work. Okay, so this is adhering, and as it dries more, you press it down more. So this way, it's good and tight against the glass, the rope. It's not coming off. We want this good and sturdy, because this is going to be an out, outdoor lantern. And I see myself running out of glue in a minute. I hate when that happens, don't you? Those of you that don't have the bigger hot glue gun, I got this little baby one. All right, you know, I don't think I'm ready to run out just yet. Okay, so I'm gonna put more hot glue around here. Okay, bring it around. I'll try to make sure it's as level as possible. And if it's not, you can always play with it. Bring it up. There we go. That looks better. Just hot glue it over the lines. And you can't go wrong because the lines were already put there. And you just have to follow them with the rope. Okay, I got to put more hot glue on that. And at some point, I'm going to speed this up because for those of you that's thinking to yourself, lady, I don't have all day. I just want to see how you did that. I'm going to speed it up. Okay, let that dry. Hold it for a minute. crooked but we can always fix that you know there is no perfect in life especially when you're doing crafts and you can everything can be fixed if need be I can see where this is a little crooked but this can be fixed because we're gonna go around again with this rope and we're gonna correct anything that needs correcting I see it right here This is fraying, and some of this I'm going to cut off because it's sticking out too much and it's driving me crazy. There we go. There we go. To that hot glue and keep it there. I hope you can see everything that I'm doing okay because I want you to be able to uh, understand exactly what I'm doing. If I'm not exactly saying it verbally, I want you to at least see what I'm doing. Again, this is the stand that we're hanging this on, and it's working perfect for leaning on as we're doing this. 
working out perfectly. Okay, so if you see where this looks uneven, this is where you get to fix it. Because you have the rope that's going under again. We're going around it three times. And you can just push it up there. And then as the rope, the uh, glue seeps from in between, wait for it to dry, and you just pick it off. That's all. And this is going to be outside. Nobody's going to, from, from a distance, you know, nobody's going to be looking at you little areas where there's a little glue that seeped out. Because you know what? This is such a pretty lantern. Any little imperfections, okay, when it comes to the rustic look. See how this is coming along now? Eventually, it's going to come out like this. This one. I hope you're able to see that okay. I uh, can't wait to put this up outside so you can see the better view of it, how it's supposed to be. All right, now we're going to do this side. I'm going to try to get this, move it along, because I know I have a habit of doing too much talking. And if you want somebody that's faster, and there's a lot of videos out like that to do it, lickety split real quick. They don't talk. I'm not that person. I talk a lot. I explain. I over explain sometimes. And, I, you know, you can always fast forward it. Certain things I'll try to fast forward and edit um, if I think it's too long of a video. But um, I'm not that person, so I'm sorry. But there's videos out there that they are quicker. I just, that's not me. Um, I like a more personal type of demonstration sometimes because you like to hear why somebody's doing what they're doing. You can understand it better. And um, see how this has taken a, a much different look the wider, the more you go around with the rope. It really looks nice. And this is a thinner rope, so I had to go around a few times with a big fat rope, maybe once, not even twice, maybe. See, this is, the more you press, it stays nice and sturdy against the glass. This is, let me see, we're going on the end of the third one. And it doesn't have to end perfectly. Like, that's, it's going to end here, right, like that, where there's a little drop there. If the drop is there, too, that's okay. If, I hope you're able to see what I'm talking about. See where it stops here. It's going to stop there. It's okay. It doesn't have to be where it matches up seam to seam. This is not a jacket. This isn't a sweater. This is a lantern, and it looks just fine. And, you know, there's so many things you can do with this. If you want to hot glue something pretty to it, you can. I like to leave it the way it is because I like that rustic charm where it's more plain and simple. And this is where this should be the last of it because it's three rows look at that push it down good and tight with a rope sit here there we're gonna cut this on an angle watch your fingers we're going to end up in the emergency room you want it to be an enjoyable craft you're doing, not one you remember with fright. So tonight I ended up getting five stitches. I lost my fingertip. <laughs> oh, I hope you could see what I was doing. There we go. See, I'm pushing that little piece down in there. There we go. And when it's completely dry, you just pick off the glue that's sticking out, or you could shave it down a little, or it's not a big deal. Okay, now we're going to take the light. We took the um, bottom off already. We'll take this out. Because if you don't take that out, this will not light up. Oh boy, I don't think I got the whole thing out either. Oh, I'm going to need a pair of pliers or something now. Because I did not get this whole thing. See, it, it ripped on me. Alright, you know what? I really don't feel like playing with this right now. I have another one I could use. Let's use this one for now. We'll pretend that's it. Now it's going to go in here like that. See? 
Let me see if it gets darker in here can, if I shut the light off. If it's late afternoon, it might get darker. Let me see. Let's just look. It's going on a little bit. Okay, but you get the idea now. This has to be the cheapest outdoor lantern I've seen. Now, this is, like I said, display easel. Got this by where they have all these glass uh, household items and um, the decorative type of, like, say, sand and rocks, things like that. Um, they had these down there by the plates, because this is really for displaying a plate. And we're going to put this part over the fence, and here's the lip. Now, I'm sure you could take any outdoor plant hanger. They did have the plant hanger, but I didn't want to get the regular one. I wanted this one in particular because it's easy to just put on the fence. You'll see what I mean. It's easy to just place and go, and I love crafts like that. Now, it's going to be just like this. You're going to put it on and go. And um, like I said, you could take a regular hanger, hanging plant, plant, duh, plant hanger that gets screwed in, but my luck, I will end up putting a crack in the fence. My husband will get pissed because um, he doesn't like me doing things like that. He's very fussy how the out, outside looks and even the inside, and that's okay. But I don't want to be the person that makes that crack happen. So I got this, and I thought it was perfect. I'm going to show you how it looks outside. I'm going to bring you over. I hope the clip works. I'm not very good with editing. I'm new to all this. But if it doesn't work... Um, I want to thank you for coming to my channel and doing this. This was very easy to do. The vase, one, $1. You don't need the whole thing of rope. The rope was a buck. You could probably do 10 more of these lanterns. Um, and you figure maybe you use even 25 cents worth of this, not even. Between this and then the, uh, the solar light, it costs what? One, two... This three, three dollars and change, three dollars and change. Where else are you going to get an outdoor lantern for three dollars and change? And I'm taking mine to hang out at all different levels. Like this one will hang longer because it's got a longer handle. This has a shorter handle. I thought it would look cute. I'm going to put like three in a line at different, hanging at different levels. And then I'm going to put a couple around my pool in the backyard. So thank you for coming to my channel, like I was trying to say with my long goodbye. And um, please hit the subscribe button. So this way, when I have another video coming out, you'll know. Hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. But I would love for you to join me. I have so many crafts planned to be sharing with you. Um, so come back soon and... I look forward to seeing you. Bye.